для них всех важна проблема миграции перебытных людей, потому что это наша общая история. И только так мы можем представить свою историю, вполне осветить проблему происхождения человека. In the last 10 years, genetic information extracted from bones found at several different sites in southern Siberia showed that Neanderthals, modern humans, and this newly discovered group called the Denisovans coexisted in this region about 45,000 years ago. The space that leads there from Africa, where modern humans appeared, and from Europe, where we know Neanderthals start, will probably appeared, is enormous. So what would, what would make it so that humans come to meet each other in this crossroads? And because there was no trade back then that we know of, maybe this earliest Silk Road was actually created by the constraints of geography and climate alone. More specifically, we hypothesized that there was this corridor between the mountains and deserts of Central Asia that funneled people in and out of the region depending on the severity of the climate at either end. We wanted to put Kazakhstan on uh, the spot of uh, Paleolithic archaeology by the sense of understanding human mobility to, in the different climatic changes that happened, which was like periods where it was really cold and really difficult for people to occupy and periods where the climate was warmer. Caves have several advantages. First, they are visible mar markers on the landscape. We see them, and they would have been seen also by ancient people. Именно в пещерах могут быть обнаружены останки первобытного человека, остатки материальной культуры хозяйственной деятельности его. Здесь можно будет проследить в пещерах не только вот каменную индустрию, но и различные вот остатки ископаемых животных. И больше шансов в пещерах обнаружить останки первобытного человека, нежели на открытых стоянках. Lithic stone tools, artifacts in general, are things that have been left behind, right? So they show us patterns of discard, of like where humans left things, which can sometimes give us information about where people were, but it can also give us information about like where people used particular parts of the landscape. Having different raw materials also shows you that people brought things in from faraway places and you can actually use the types of raw, different types of raw materials knowing where they come from. You can actually find distances that people travel to that site. When we find it all, we know for certain that it comes from the lithic period where humans uh, still use stone tools. But with human bones, it's very tricky because you, you never know un until you date it or when, until, unless you have a specialist who knows the differences in human morphology. The Spaeva cave is very important because for the first time we found quite a few human remains there. We can expect that there are changes in the hunting strategy of early humans and this might then also be reflected in the adaptation of the skeletal system. So animals are important when we look at human evolution because they play a huge role in our lives, but they also can tell us about, you know, what the environment was like where these hominins were living, um, what foods, you know, what were they eating, um, or what were they being eaten by. 
and it all adds into a bigger picture. Которая названа в честь первого палеолитчика, основателя вот как раз палеолита Казахстана. Soviet archaeology was characterized by extremely hard work. People were working for really long periods of time and they weren't as dependent on having positive results. So they were funded whether or not they found sites, they were funded whether or not those sites um, found, you know, delivered extremely you know, newsworthy kind of results. When the Soviet Union collapsed, most sciences suffered because there was lack of funding. All the former uh, Soviet republics became independent countries starting from the 2000s uh, as Kazakhstan started developing uh, thanks to the natural resources such as oil and gas. The government started paying more attention on sciences and how to fund sciences. Kazakhstan played an important role in the Silk Road because it was a connecting gateway between East and West. It has several Silk Road settlements which were large trade centers. Kazakhstan, if we think about it geographically, is right smack in the middle of where people would have needed to go to migrate from Africa from Southwest Asia or the Middle East to the Americas and to Eastern Asia and yet we don't have that much information about the Paleolithic here and so the question is like how did people move through this area? Дело в том, что невозможно полнее понять древнейшую историю без проблемы происхождения и эволюции, миграции первобытных людей. 